Good morning, good morning, good morning, Graveyard Shift family. We are in New Orleans, Louisiana. Y'all, I do not know how the internet is going to be out here, so if the connection starts getting blurry, I apologize. But to go live, you have to have internet, and I am surrounded. I am surrounded. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, y'all, give a few more people time to get in. What's up, Patrick? MB, what's happening? Kyle, what's good? Carissa, Betty, Sharon, Annalie, Stephanie, James, Ryan, Creepy Village. What's up, everybody? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all. So I figured, since it's not too hot just yet, that we could do, if y'all wanted me to, I can walk around. It's like three or four cemeteries right here. And we have the Katrina Memorial, which has some of the, you know, the people that passed away in Katrina over there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can take you to a few. I got my spirit box with me. We can do a live spirit box session. I'm here for you guys this morning. Let me be your eyes and ears, guys, before it gets too hot and the camera starts cutting off. So, yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. I'm going to walk around a little bit. Just I'm going to show y'all this one, and then we're going to go across the street to the other one because I think it's more shade over there, and then we'll set up and do a spirit box session. So I'm just going to turn the camera around so y'all can just see. So this is the cemetery that I may or may not have snuck into last night. Oh, I didn't tell y'all I snuck into a cemetery last night. <laughs> so, I may or may not have <laughs> gotten over a fence or two to get over here last night. And this is where I saw what I feel like was an apparition. Y'all been telling me that some people think it's a mist. Some people think it's a low cloud. Some people think it's a... Uh, uh what's that other stuff the uh fog <laughs> but i believe <laughs> it was something supernatural merely for the fact of i react to it before i even know i didn't see that in real time i had to go back and scrub the footage so yeah man i react to it before it even happens so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I went by myself, y'all. To be honest, hear me out. And I know it sounds weird. I feel less scared <laughs> or creeped out being in these type of cemeteries than I do being in the uh, traditional ones. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I walked through this entire resting community last night at night <laughs> by myself <laughs> after jumping a fence to get over here <laughs> and was not tripping out at all <laughs> but let me go to any like below ground cemetery yeah man it freaks me out it freaks me out so i don't know i don't know what that is i don't know why that what that means <laughs> but that also led me to seeing that white spirit thing walk past me last night. And it kept telling me to get up. It kept telling me to get up. It kept telling me to like leave last night. And I was like, maybe you're telling me to leave because, uh, you know, sometimes I get warned. They give out warnings before something happens. Maybe the police was finna come. <laughs> maybe somebody was finna catch me. You know what I'm saying? So I was getting ready to leave when I made mention to something being behind me, thinking that I heard someone. And then I asked, did I see you? And yeah, that's when that happened. It was like, yeah, you did, boy. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know, y'all. New Orleans is wild. This has been by far <laughs> the wildest trip that I've had. Y'all, I met with this lady named Bloody Mary. 
I met with this lady named Bloody Mary out here. She's like a, the voodoo queen. So this lady, she's amazing, y'all. I'm gonna link y'all to her information when I drop the videos. But she has a haunted museum in New Orleans. She's a voodoo queen. She, uh, so she owns that, well, she rents out the Marie Laveau, like family home. <laughs> so she like she rented it out to write a book there because she wanted to be engulfed in the spirit and energy of Marie Laveau and uh yeah she has some of her her artifacts some of her belongings yeah exactly Ronnie Bloody Mary the voodoo queen we've been hanging out out here <laughs> Bloody Mary man yeah yeah the blonde lady exactly 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 so I did a whole video with her, y'all. Like I got a whole, yes, the clouds are coming out, y'all. That means we can be out here without the sun. Okay, let's pray that it stays like this for a little bit, y'all. <laughs> so look, all right, so look, this is what we gonna do. Once I introduce Mary to the channel, y'all, y'all gotta blow up her channel. We gotta get her, like she did everything for free. I'm not saying she should charge, but you know, man, people's time is valuable. And she let the graveyard shift. She gave us free access of like, her building, her hat, like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And, and, let me tell you what made me mad. Mary, if you ever see this video, I'm gonna tell y'all how Mary played me, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all how Mary played me, man. Cause this ain't really in the video. So Mary owns this haunted museum, right? So she has all these artifacts in this museum. Like, she has like Marie Laveau's old pistol, her dagger, her protection metal made out of her teeth. Like she has some stuff going on over there, right? But above said building, so the whole property is like old slave quarters and it's just real slavey. <laughs> but above is an apartment. So Bloody Mary was like, uh i want you to go and investigate whatever it is that you do <laughs> upstairs in this apartment she was like but i don't want to tell you anything she was like so just go up there and just tell me what you feel so i go up there y'all and it's on tape you know what i'm saying i go up there and i'm walking around it's a it's a, a like an empty apartment but there's a bathroom kitchen area there's a stove and on the stove you'll see it in the video it's like an altar with like money and cigarettes and perfume. Then there's a refrigerator that's opened up in there that's also an altar. And I'm like, that's weird. Why is that in the kitchen of this raggedy ass apartment upstairs? And why she got me up here? So I immediately start getting kind of nauseated. My head starts hurting. So I get up out that room, right? So I do a spear box session across the hall, which is crazy. It's kind of cool. Y'all might like that. And then I come downstairs, I cut the camera off and she was like, so what did you feel? And I was like, man, you know, I felt kind of nauseated in this one room. My head was hurting. <sighs> Y'all, she then proceeds to tell me the story of what happened in the apartment above her building that she owns. So in this apartment back during Katrina. So this is like 2000. What was that? Four or five. A couple rented out the apartment. And whatever reason, the man ends up killing the woman, cutting her head off, putting it in a pot and boiling her head for 12 days in that kitchen that I was standing in on that stove. She told me that is the original stove, <laughs> original stove that that man boiled that lady. He then took her in the bathroom, chops her up and puts her body parts in the refrigerator the same refrigerator that's in there right now. <laughs> so you see all of this in the video, but you don't know any of this because she didn't tell me any of this. And so she tells me and I'm like, damn, Mary, why you didn't tell me that before I went up in there? <laughs> like we could have, <laughs> we could have like had a real spirit box session in there and asked some real questions. Man, Mary looked me in my face. <laughs> she was like, I'm waiting to tell that story to a bigger outlet. 
<laughs> I said, you know what, damn Mary? I, hey, man, I ain't even mad at you, Mary. <laughs> I am not mad at you, Mary. I, hey, Mary, say, hey, we gonna be there one day. <laughs> Hey, our 80, our 88, 87, 87,000 strong, man. We, we gonna be there one day in numbers, Mary. But I'm trying to convince her to let me do a spirit box session up there, y'all. I'm trying. I'm meeting with her today. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to promise her the world, y'all. I said, Mary, man, I went live. 5,000 of my graveyard shift family said they gonna follow your YouTube page. <laughs> but you gotta let us do a spirit box session upstairs. Y'all, because if she does, I'm going to make that a whole video. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to look up the case. I'm going to find pictures. <laughs> like, yeah. You, East GCW said, what's the craziest thing that ever happened to me on a graveyard shift? That would be last night, my good sir or ma'am. I'm not sure. I can't see a picture. But either way, <laughs> sir, ma'am. Uh last night by far by far by far last night by far yesterday by far to be completely honest yesterday yesterday to be completely completely honest somebody said you talk too much when get off my page mashia <laughs> it's that simple <laughs> that simple love <laughs> i promise you it's that simple <laughs> it's a little button right there <laughs> that exits you <laughs> elsewhere anyway Y'all, like I was saying, I forgot what I was saying because people are so rude, so, so rude. But yeah, y'all, we got a lot going on out here, man. I'm going to take y'all to this across the street. Well, to be honest, it's a lot of shade right here. I know, Ronnie, we, I, and I love you, Ronnie. <laughs> Jilly Jill, it's okay. People are just rude and they're impatient. That's, you know, that's how life is. But we don't judge them. They're non-shifters. And we don't like your kind around here. <laughs> you can go back to where you came from. That's how we feel. <laughs> About people like you. All right, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Let's see if I can set this up properly. All right, y'all. One second. While the weather <laughs> permits. Hopefully we won't have any overheating and the box will not cut off. Oh, but yeah, last night, man, was definitely the craziest thing that ever happened. Yesterday, period, was crazy. The box spinning on its own. <laughs> and it makes me start to think, I only caught those two things. So yesterday, while doing a spirit box session, I left the spirit box doing the fly on the wall thing, where I literally just sat it down on top of like this <laughs> and I left and then uh, I was a distance away but after about five minutes I heard something fall so I come back and the spirit box had fell on the ground so I go to the car and look at the footage and I'm scrubbing the footage you know like fast forwarding it and I notice <laughs> the spirit box slowly rotating on the platform and then it falls off People was like, it's the vibration from the words. Maybe. That ain't never happened before. And what would make it vibrate? There was no there was no shaking of the box. It was literally just a slow rotation, counterclockwise. It stopped. And then it fell over. I don't know. Y'all see the whole video when I post it online uh, in a couple days. I just need time to go edit. So yeah, man, that happened yesterday. And then the apparition walking by happened yesterday. So yeah, definitely New Orleans has been one for the books. Hold on, yeah. All right.
Alright. So we are in front of Richard McCleo and Annie Bell. Annie passed away April 24th, 1912. Okay. So all the spirits that are here resting, my name is Dalen. I come in love, peace, and respect. If there's anyone that would like to speak to me, please feel free to speak to me through this box. It will not hurt or harm you. It just allows me to hear you. Again, love, love, love. You can hear. <laughs> Rosemary immediately comes out. This is family. Do you mind telling me your name, please? Did that say Anne? Did, 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 it sounded like they said Anne. Yeah, it might be an echo because of all my concrete. Okay, Miss Anne and Richard. Hi. I appreciate you letting me sit here. Well. How are you guys resting today? He lived. Are you guys together? What? I said beat it. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. Is it too early to come talking to you? We didn't know. I said we didn't know. I did show up unexpectedly. Why? They keep saying tomorrow. I heard that bird, and there was a bird chirping. So, should I come? Should I move around to another plot? Okay, I said get up and man. They kept making mention to a bird. So there's two things. Two things. There's a headstone in front of me with a bird on it, and then there's a bird chirping directly behind me. Where should we go? The headstone with the bird or the bird that's directly above the next grade over that keeps chirping. Hold on, y'all. We got some say the headstone, headstone, headstone. Dang, can, really? Y'all picked headstone over live bird chirping? All right. All right, man. That's what y'all want, guys. I personally would have went to bird chirping. The history that we have with birds leading us to places, but we gonna see. This is the Brown family, y'all. This is the Brown family. Y'all see the bird? Hey. I know you heard me introduce myself across the way. So this is Ted Lamar Brown. 
Oh, your birthday is a week before? Oh, no, excuse me. Well, your birthday is a week after mine. We both born in March, Ted. Then the bird stops chirping. <laughs> All right, Ted, feel free to talk to me through this box, man. What I do, Ted passed away in 2008, so that's fairly recent compared to who we usually tend to talk to. So yeah, Ted, man, Mr. Brown, feel free to talk to me. You can, I can hear you through this box. I like Ted's, uh, his resting space. It's all clean and white and just welcoming. Like, this is cool. This is nice. This is really nice. Hey, y'all, what my box gonna put on? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Ted. Here we go. No. It's difficult. Yeah, it was yeah. difficult. That was my fault. I apologize, Ted. Yeah. Can you tell me your name so I know who I'm talking to? Said you heard me. And there's Mary Ellen. Yeah. Anytime Mary Ellen comes around, it means somebody probably needs help. Somebody said not now. Is there someone here that needs help? Say yeah, me. Can you tell me your name, please? Just say Ted. Ted just came through, y'all. Ted, are you the gentleman that needs help? Oh, you whispered and said no. Well, Mary Ellen, are you able to help the person that needs help right now? They said, help us, please. What do you need help with? Are there a lot of people that need help around me? So, so Rosemary started out here, then Mary Ellen came. Linda, thank you, Linda. Is there anything that I can do right now to help? Said no talk. Oh, so y'all want to hear me talk. And that's why I mess with the spirits, y'all. They like me. No, I'm just playing. I know y'all do too. I'm just playing. Come with Trump. Okay. Well, Ted, I appreciate you, man, coming through. It's validating that you're here. And I hope Rosemary, I hope you're able to help. Cool. Cool. All right. All right, y'all. We finna move. Y'all, if I get kicked out <laughs> on live. <laughs> uh -oh, here we go. What's up, boss? Here we go.
go. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Yep, all the birds stopped chirping. I was about to go over there. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, all the birds stopped chirping when that happened. But I think they're gonna do some work over here, so let's let's move around. Yo, I thought that was security. <laughs> I thought that was security. <laughs> thought they was trying. Hey, sir, can you sir, can you come in for a second? <laughs> we reviewed the cameras last night and uh you're looking mighty familiar, buddy. <laughs> Hey man, let me move around, y'all. But I wanted to go over there where the birds was chirping, man. But that's directly where they just went to do whatever business that they were doing. But the bird did stop chirping as soon as I sat down in front of Ted's grave. Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Trying to find another shaded area. This is the Becker Feehan family. Watch out, look at y'all see. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Okay, here we go. Let's sit over here. This is a uh, World War II rivet J. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can't. Them, them, them Louisiana last name. But he's from Louisiana, MMTC, U.S. Navy, World War II, born in 1924 and passed away in 1943. He was 19. He must have passed away at war. Or he must have. I don't. Y'all, I'm going to lie to you. History is not your boy's strong suit. <laughs> so was World War II, <laughs> when was that? What year was that? Was that 1943? Is it safe to? Dang, brother, can I get to this without? Oh man, every time I move, brother moves. I'm just, I know you trying to do your job, but I'm trying to do mine. Okay, 1942 to 1945. Okay, so it seems as though Rivet, which is a dope name. Damn, y'all can't see. I want y'all to be able to see him too. Hold on. Oh, let me get on the ground a little bit more, guys. Okay. Okay, there we go. So. He passed away, I'm assuming, he passed away November 13, 1943. So I'm assuming he passed away in World War II. Rivet, man, you got a cool name, Rivet. But you here with your whole family. You got Joan, you got Donald. You got Mary, okay. In loving memory of Rivet John Daigree. Forgive me if I mispronounced it, sir. You have Mary McDonald. Her name is Mary McDonald McDonald. That's cool. Then you have the infant, a child named Mary Dorothy. She was, she passed away the same day she was born. Then you have Mildred McDonald. Then you have Francis Rivet and Margaret McDonald. Wow. And then Joan and Donald. So it's like eight people resting over here. <laughs> or a representation of eight people. Y'all, let me pull this a little bit closer so I can read y'all's comments. All right.
Thank you for your service, Rivet. Thank you for all you did, my brother. Yeah, I gotta take a little water break, man. It's hot. So look, since y'all don't mind me talking, let me tell y'all the issue with the Marie Laveau thing. Like, I'm trying to get to her grave, but you can't. Like, the laws that they put on the inner city New Orleans cemeteries out here are crazy. Like, all of them, the majority of them are chained up. You can't really get in them like that. And then the, the grave that she's buried in is owned by a church. And they only allow representatives of the church to take people in to do the tours. So, like, there's... Yeah, they just said it's all hell to get in there now because too many people like messed up with spray painting on the side of her grave and all of that type stuff. So I want to try. But Bloody Mary was just like, nah, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Whew, y'all, just give me a second, y'all. It's a little warm out here. Just give me a little, give me a little water break. Just give me a little water break. All right. Aloha. All right, Ribbit. My name is Daylin. Okay, that was strange. It sounded like someone just threw something <laughs> right in front of me. Let's just see. Rivet, my name is Daylin. I'm with a group of people called The Graveyard Shift. There's currently 731 people watching right now from all over the world. We would love to just thank you for your service. We appreciate everything that you did for us. I hate that you, I hate that you didn't Get to see more than 19 years, man. But you went out like, well, I'm about to say you went out like a soldier. You are a soldier. You went out with honor, dignity, respect, and you went out fighting for something. So that's much love and much respect, Ribbit. Hope we can talk to you, man. Feel free to come through. Thank you. <laughs> Can you, can you tell me your name, please? Me. He said me. Yes, sir. You. Can you tell me your name? Did that say it in the background? I'm not going to count it. I'm not going to count that. Can you, can you tell me your name one more time, just so that we can know for sure we're talking to? Join us. Said join us. I heard a child. There is a child that passed away here. Always smile. Did they say ribbit? Yeah, it sounded like a faint, a faint ribbit. I don't know. That's why y'all listening to y'all. That's why y'all are listening to. Somebody said they keep hearing Max or no. Say you're a leader. Ribbit, are you still protecting? Are you protecting the cemetery? He didn't. He didn't. He should. Okay, y'all. Uh, quick question. Quick question. So right here, I'm just noticing that there is a ribbit who served. What is? I don't know anything about what does MM2C stand for in the US Navy? MM2C. What is that? Is that that his is that his position? Okay, if so, the person in front of me, John Kelly, he was a PFC in the US Army in World War II. I'm assuming that's private first class US Army.
So I asked, did Rivet, ugh, I asked, did Rivet protect this cemetery? And somebody vividly came through and was like, he didn't and he should. But it sounded like it was something between them two. So I wonder <laughs> if old Rivet and John, who live across the street from each other, <laughs> have a little rivalry going on out here. A little military rivalry. Let's see. He's there. It said he's there. <laughs> so Rivet, is your neighbor across the street? Is he here with us too? So sure he is. Can you tell me his name? Okay, I just heard Nicholas. But can you tell me the name of this gentleman right here? Uh oh. Uh oh, my bad. My bad, y'all. There we go. Well, John, are you here? Well, yes. Let me ask you this, John. Do you protect this cemetery? He said, I'm trying. Okay. Well, John, do you thank you for your service too, first and foremost? So, John, do you and Rivet work together in the afterlife? Good. Say so we have. That's cool. That's cool. So do y'all have a special connection because you both served in the military? Stay. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, I've heard Nicholas like two times. Is there a Nicholas somewhere? Huh. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I appreciate your time, both John and Rivet. All right, y'all. We're going to move around. We're going to move around. What time is it? No, it's just 9 o'clock. We out early today, y'all. <laughs> we out early today. I ain't even did any shifts yet. I mean, you know, recorded any. Let's move around. Let's move around, y'all. Let's go across the street to another resting area. Thank y'all for tuning in this morning. Thank y'all for clocking in early. I know it's Tuesday. I know some of y'all got jobs. 
Some of y'all got jobs. But on the way out, we can look at some of the beauty that is upon us. This is where the bird was chirping. The bird was chirping. Uh, what was the bird chirping? Oh, over here somewhere. But it stopped. But this is interesting. I've never seen. They have like marbles and Latrice, Stanley, and Linda. M, you at work? You clocked in to both of your jobs, M? I can't even be mad at it. I appreciate the hustle. Well, let's walk this way, y'all. Man, God is shining his favor on us. Well, for y'all that don't believe in God. <laughs> for me, as for me and my household. <laughs> y'all, because this weather, oh my gosh, we couldn't do this if the weather wasn't the way it was right now, y'all. The phone would have been done shut off. I'd be done fainted. <laughs> uh oh kim blessings to your daughter today at school hope she has a blessed learning full day learning full day ain't probably a word <laughs> but learning full this is cool all right y'all i know i'm taking i'm wasting time i'm gonna walk across the street i'm gonna walk across the street but look it looks like it's about to rain a little bit What up, Emmy? What up, Emmy? Kim. Y'all. Y'all are the best. All right, let me walk across the street. Like, it's a real street. So we got a, we got a little bit of a walk, y'all. So take in the scenery. Take in the scenery. It ain't that far of a walk, but it's a walk. So if you don't like hearing me talk, man, you might want to put your... <laughs> y'all, I'm going to tell you something about me. I'm petty, man. I'm petty. I'm the type of person, man, I, I never let it go. <laughs> oh, you the one that don't like hearing me talk, huh? It's 30 years later. <laughs> I'll be at your funeral. I bet you hear me talk now. You want to talk now? You want to be on the spirit box talk to now, huh? <laughs> no, I talk too much, baby. No, I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just serious. Let's get over here, man. Oh, okay, look, 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 look. Before, okay, I'm putting it on y'all. Do y'all want to go see the not, excuse me, the Katrina Memorial first, and then we run across the street? Or y'all want to go across the street and see more of this type of stuff? The Katrina Memorial is not like this. It's just, it's a memorial, and I think it's, it's like the, uh, the what y'all call them, crypts? It's more like crypts. So y'all let me know. So by the time I get to this gate, <laughs> I'm either going to bust the left <laughs> or I'm going to run across traffic. So y'all let me know what y'all want to see. Katrina? All right, bet. We're going to go to the Katrina Memorial. Great choice, y'all. Great choice. Look at this. I don't know, man. Would this be like the equivalent to like an overgrown grave that we see in our normal shifts? Like once the stone starts breaking? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I like these better. I don't know. They're kind of interesting. They kind of, everybody has character. Everybody has character. I kind of like the idea of the above ground graves, y'all. You know what? I'm gonna start my own cemetery. I'm gonna get me some land. And we're gonna put above ground graves in other cities that ain't got nothing to do with below sea level. Dalen Land. Dalen Land cemeteries. <laughs> so all my shifties, all my shifties, y'all can get a plot for free. And then we all can be shifting it up together in the afterlife, y'all. It smells like horse doo-doo out here right now. Oh my gosh. That must be the sewer. Oh, oh my gosh, that's horrible. That has nothing to do with the graves. That's.
Don't y'all see I'm shifting? But yeah. Y'all, I love New Orleans, man. I love it. We finna start going more on the road with the graveyard shift. Whew. I gotta sit down for a second. It's Stacy's turn to hit the road. <laughs> See, Stacy, the thing about Stacy and what I love so much about her, she's an entrepreneur just like me. So we get to hustle together. And it's cool because we both understand each other. Like we both used to have, I know this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This is me talking about relationship stuff. In past relationships, it's hard being an entrepreneur because if you're not with somebody that understands that, they won't understand what it takes and what you have to put in to accomplish the goals you're trying to accomplish. But when you have two people on the same path, it's just great to have that understanding. And we were able to assist. So like I can step away for three days to come to New Orleans to shift for the channel. If she can go to her bar in New York for three days when I get back. Like, yeah. And then we're good. We handled business for a week. <laughs> and then everything's back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just cool to be able to play, to have a teammate, y'all. Because I wouldn't be able to do this without a teammate. So, yeah. Thank you to Stacy. <laughs> sometimes she's on here. Sometimes she's not. But thank you to Stacy. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, here we go. Y'all, this air feels good. This is the perfect day. This is the perfect day, perfect day. And I'm mad because I really should be recording videos right now. <laughs> but I love being on live with y'all. I love being on live with y'all. It's so much more fun, man. Like, when I be recording videos by myself, it's, it's me and the spirits but it's like a game of charades that I'm playing by myself. Picture playing charades and it's you versus a thousand people. <laughs> Y'all see my little rental car right here in New Orleans? I call it the Blue Goblin, the Blue Goblin. Hold on, all right, here we are, y'all. Hold, Hold on. Hold on, here we are. Out the rain, so I'm, I'm gonna do as much as I can before it rains. New Orleans, Katrina Memorial. Uh oh, I don't, I might, I miss what Mary said, but y'all, prayers to Mary, prayers to Mary. This is the Charity Hospital Cemetery in the Katrina Memorial. All right. This is the Charity Hospital Cemetery. This cemetery was purchased by Charity Hospital in 1848 and was originally known as a potter's field. It has historically been used to bury the unclaimed from throughout the city, including the victims of several yellow fever and influenza epidemics presently. The ashes of those who have donated their remains to the Louisiana, Louisiana State Anatomical Board of Medical Education are buried here also. Prior to the construction of the Katrina Memorial Mausoleums, the cemetery was one of few graveyards in the region in which all the bodies were buried underground. Charity Hospital Cemetery is one of the most historically significant, yes, yet least known among New Orleans famous cities of the dead. Okay. So with that being said, this is a potter's field. So that means there's no telling how many people that's just been buried over here over the years. Then you have these mausoleum crypts of people that donated their bodies. And then they had the ashes of people that have been cremated. Okay, okay. Y'all have been asking about talking to some people that's been cremated. I just didn't know where I could go and find up, find cremated people. <laughs> like I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know where you, where they, cause I was like, where do they house cremated people? And look at this. Apparently this is where they house cremated people. That's wild. I never would have thought that that was like a place, but that's interesting. So we're going to for sure do a spirit box session here. Yeah, there's no names on here. Let's see. 
but there's all these okay let's see more than 1100 persons in new orleans and the surrounding communities perished in the wake of hurricane katrina an unprecedented effort to recover and identify the dead was carried out yet scores remain unidentified or unclaimed dr frank minyard coroner of new orleans parish created the new orleans katrina memorial corporation to build a final resting place to honor those victims the site of the historic charity hospital cemetery was selected and the memorial was designed to preserve and enhance its dignity the memorial design evokes the hurricane shape and creates a meditative labyrinth a healing space for reflection the memorial received the remains of the unidentified or unclaimed victims and was dedicated to their memory on august 29 2008 may they may they and all other victims of hurricane katrina find eternal peace wow man y'all i remember katrina y'all gotta remember i'm right here i'm from texas and i was in atlanta when katrina hit and yeah i remember everybody evacuating everybody from new orleans went to like houston dallas atlanta like i met some of my closest friends because of them relocating from katrina katrina was wild that was a wild time if you remember it and for those that may be overseas and not familiar with katrina katrina was a hurricane that hit new orleans uh i guess maybe 2004 and it it broke the levees in the city and it flooded mind you new orleans is below sea level it's a town that's below sea level so once the levees in the poor neighborhoods broke in the poor neighborhoods they broke flooded all of the poor neighborhoods in new orleans and a lot of people lost their lives a lot of people lost their lives so yeah 2005 maybe 2004 2005 so yeah we're gonna definitely do 2005 katrina was in 2005 yep 2003 2004 that's right so i got to atlanta 2003 i was a freshman 2003 2004 2005 was my sophomore year yep y'all right hey when y'all right y'all right <laughs> when y'all are right y'all are right but i like how they say that's interesting that they i don't know y'all how do we feel about that when you really think about it the shape of this memorial is in the shape of a hurricane. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Am I tripping? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I might be tripping. I'm not going to give a, 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 a correlation, <laughs> a, 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 an example that could be used as that, but I don't know. I don't know if I would have made uh, a hurricane, made this in the shape of a hurricane, if I lost my life in a hurricane. I don't know, but it's beautiful though. Nonetheless, the idea, the concept is beautiful. I'm just saying me personally, I just find that interesting. I don't know. I, but again, I've been told that my my thinking is is uh is off <laughs> at times. Again, beautiful nonetheless. So it's shaped, so here's a picture of it so you can see it again. It's shaped like that. So it's shaped, that's the shape of where we're sitting right now. And you walk around it and it's supposed to provide tranquility and peace and a place for meditation, which is super, super dope. But that's the shape. Somebody said it could be a portal. Patty, I don't know. Patty, maybe you think like me, Patty. <laughs> but maybe we the ones <laughs> that are wrong. <laughs> Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. 
Thank you. Oh, y'all. Exactly. Exactly, Addy. I'm sitting in the eye of the hurricane. So this should be the most peaceful place, right? Right? Y'all, I went and checked my uh my P.O. box the other day. Thank you to everyone that sent me t-shirts. Thank you for those that sent bug spray. And for the lady that sent me the flashlights. You gave me the industrial one. And I ain't gonna lie, I was making fun of you at first. I was like, what she think I am? What she think I need this UFO satellite flashlight? Lady, <laughs> you saved my life. <laughs> I don't know what's best for me. Clearly, lady, you know what's best for me. <laughs> I used it the other day. Listen, that thing is like, oh, you know when the, you seen that commercial when the white dude is sitting in the canyon and he was like, let me cut on this flashlight and it's, <laughs> she got me one of those. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love, love, love. All right. Let's get to it. <clears throat> I appreciate you. Because clearly, again, y'all know what's best for me more than, more than I know what's best for me. <laughs> All right. All right, stop playing, Dana. <laughs> stop playing. Be serious. Because I play around a lot, y'all, but that's just my personality. And I just don't be one spirits that don't know me to be like, man, this boy be all right. He playing too much. He don't take this serious. I promise y'all, through the humor, I take everything serious. But that is my, I believe, is my coping mechanism through life. Through life. <laughs> like, that's my coping mechanism is making jokes. Like, if we were ever to get kidnapped together, don't look at me. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm probably going to say something ignorant <laughs> or stupid. But that's just laughter and humor is my coping mechanism with everything. Like, I don't really cry. I'm not really a cry. That's not really... I can't tell you the last time I cried. But I laugh every day. I laugh every single day. All right, y'all. So for everyone that's here listening... My name is Daylin. I come in love, peace, and respect. And we're here paying our respect to those that lost their lives in Katrina. I hope you're all resting peaceful now. I hope this monument is showing respect to you and letting you know that we have not forgotten you and we will never forget you. Even if you don't have a name here, you were loved and are loved by somebody who's still here. So please know that they have not forgotten you and we have not either. So please feel free to talk to me through this box. I can hear you. And yeah, I would love to hear from you. Uh -oh. I feel like it's much later than it is. It's just 920. We've been shifting for almost an hour. Y'all, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. We had almost 900 people. Let's see if we can get to 1,000. Let's see if we can get to a thou wow. Let's see if we can get to 1,000 people. Can anyone here tell me their name? Yes. Like, okay. I'm, I'm not sure if I heard anyone in particular. Somebody said, please stop. This is sad. So for anyone that I'm offending. How you doing? 
And so I'm just here to pay my respect. I know this is probably different. Somebody said not really. Dang, it's a hard crowd today, ain't it? I promise you I have no ill will. Mary Ellen, Rosemary, can you come vouch for your boy? Who said bad jokes? God dang. You're right. Somebody said we're sick. Somebody said no. No. Did somebody just walk past in these bushes? Is there somebody over here? Say yeah. Can you tell me your name? Is there anything that I can do for you? Just no. Just no. Something think of us? Do you feel like people have forgot about you? Well, never. You say, yep. It's not good. Desperate. Do you feel do you feel lost because you were unidentified? Say yeah. Yeah. Damn. I mean dang, forgive my language. That's sad. Dang. Because I can imagine prior to that day you had a whole life going. Friends, family, loved ones. Everything. They said everything. They said we lost. What? They were. Do you think by chance your family has just visited this memorial, not even knowing you were here? You said yeah. Is there anything that we can do to tell people? Do you have a message for anyone? Should I pray? I did. I heard Michael too. I, I ain't say nothing, but I did hear Michael. Michael, are you here? Say working. Michael, I know this is a a dumb question, but can you tell me how you passed away? 
struggle. Did you say in water, in struggle? Well, Mary Ellen, are you here? Is there anything that you can do for Michael? <laughs> Walter. Yeah. Michael, I hope Mary Ellen is able to help you. Yeah. And know that people haven't forgotten about you. It's terrifying. Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen, help. I heard thank you so much in the background. Mariella, were you able to provide some sort of peace? Yes. Well, Michael, I heard I hope you I hope you feel at least a little bit better. Incredibly. 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 Good. Yeah, I asked, I hope you, you know, found some sort of peace. I feel better about it and said incredibly. Again, y'all, I'm going to have to do a session on how to operate the spirit box because a lot of y'all don't know uh, a lot of y'all don't know what y'all doing <laughs> a lot of y'all ain't read y'all employee handbook and it shows <laughs> so i'm gonna do a uh, a video on how to operate the spirit box that i use that I specifically use. Because people be like, maybe you should just ask them to come talk one at a time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe. <laughs> we will try that in a second. <laughs> we will try that in a second. But y'all, that ain't really how the box works. <laughs> It's not going to just be quiet, then all of a sudden you're just going to hear one fluid word. It's not how the box works. So the way that it works, one more time before I do the tutorial, it just has bits and pieces of English words and phrases located in this word bank. And this word bank is just on a constant rotating scan, random scan, front, back. I can change the speed, all of this. So it's always going to be just spitting out random words. But you got to be able to listen through the chatter. So like, that's what I'm saying. It's like an instrument. You have to really utilize the spirit box and train your ear. I know people that have been watching these videos for the past few months. I know you're starting to hear stuff more. We do this every day. So now you're starting to be like, oh, I can look past 
that and look for the direct responses. That's what we're looking for, the timely and direct responses. So like, you just gotta look through the chatter. It ain't gonna, if you keep complaining, it ain't, you ain't gonna get it. <laughs> you gotta just sit down and listen. You gotta just sit down and listen. I keep it on the slow speed, Beverly. <laughs> See, I know y'all be thinking I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know y'all think I don't know what I'm doing. That is the slow speed, Beverly. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Your shift leader read his manual book. Now, tell me what y'all think about this, and then I'm going to move around to another place, y'all. If y'all got time, I got time. But I think Bloody Mary just sent me a text message, y'all. I'm supposed to be meeting her today so I can convince her to let us talk to her, uh, what she say? She talking about meeting up at 11. That's an hour and a half. <sighs> Mary, you're going to make me cut this video short. Uh, Tell me what y'all think about this. Tell me what y'all think about this. Y'all saw me up here at Normal Card on camera? Yep, yep. Y'all keep watching that till Ghost Brothers come back. Tell me what y'all think about this, y'all. There's a way, I know a lot of people tell me that they cut on the YouTube channel and they don't even really watch it sometimes. They just like listening because watching it affects what they hear. So there's a way for me to just take out all the audio. And I can put the audio like into a podcast form. So like wherever you listen to your podcast, Spotify, podcast, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you listen to your, your podcast, you can just listen to the audio of this. Tell me what y'all think. If it's something y'all think I should do, it don't cost me nothing to do it now. It don't take nothing for me to do it. But it allows you to, if you just want to listen to these sessions, now you're forced to just hear. Yeah, so, yeah, so I do both. You know what I mean? I would, even, I would do both. Like, I would put the live, the video up, and then, you know, the same day, we can put the audio up, or the, the next day, in podcast form. I mean, it, it's not a this or that, y'all. <laughs> like, you ain't gotta be like, no, I like this better. We're gonna keep doing this. It's not going anywhere. This is for people that just like to listen. Elizabeth, there's no, 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 keep doing what you're doing. It's not a this or that. <laughs> That's like saying if McDonald's was like, I'm gonna start serving French fries. No, we like your hamburgers. <laughs> okay. But people like french fries too. <laughs> and you can get both. <laughs> or just a hamburger. It ain't going nowhere, y'all. We ain't gonna stop the visual. But for those that like audio, you can just listen. So if you don't write, if you don't want it, you don't have to say no. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? But if you do want it, you can say yes. <laughs> there we go. You feel me? All right, y'all. Since Bloody Mary wants to meet up earlier, y'all just got me thinking. Y'all catching me trying to process stuff in real time. I'm like, dang, man, I done been out here. My battery's probably low on this camera. I need to charge it. I still ain't took y'all across the street yet. Y'all, I could do maybe a few, maybe 15 more minutes. Y'all wanna go across the street real quick and see the other uh, the other cemetery across the street? Got you. It trips me out. People still saying, no, no, I like the video version. I promise you. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere, baby. But it just takes nothing for me to extract the audio. <laughs> like and put it there it doesn't cost me nothing it doesn't take no time from me <laughs> so it's okay to do both guys but I promise you that man ain't gonna make you listen to that audio that bad man is not gonna make that baby listen to no audio alright y'all let's go Bloody Mary is the voodoo queen of New Orleans that we have been hanging out with the past two days. 
she's giving us some behind the scenes access. And she's sitting on some of the most haunted locations in the city that she being stingy with me on. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, Bloody Mary's cool, man. She taught us about, she talked to me about voodoo. Um, she has some hunted artifacts. She got a lot going, y'all. She's really cool. She does seances. Yeah, if you come to New Orleans, you have to stop by Bloody Mary's, y'all. For sure. For sure. We got to go hang out. She's gonna, I think she's gonna come on a couple shifts with me. So she's a medium. She's a medium, she's a voodoo queen. She, she does it all. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Heather. Yeah, Bloody Mary does it all. Uh -oh. They go to uh, the, the, New, the New Orleans Mobile. All right, y'all, let me run across this street real quick. To go over yonder way. Yes, I have, Ark. I've done some food reviews. I have been doing food reviews, y'all. I did, uh... The best oysters in New Orleans. So I did an oyster review. Charbroiled oysters. <laughs> or I ate a dozen of them. Um, and today I'm in search of the best po' boy in New Orleans and the best beignet. So those are the videos I'm looking to get done today in New Orleans for food. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to do a little bit more shifting. Then I'm back to the house tomorrow, y'all. Back to the house. But this trip has been well worth it for the YouTube channel, y'all. I got to stop saying that. It's been well worth it. We got a lot of cool footage. So if I can do this, you know, every month and a half, if I can go somewhere close and give y'all a different perspective, that's where I want to take the channel. That's where I want to take the channel to where I can take y'all all over the country, really all over the world. We getting there y'all, but we getting there. We're getting there. I want to be able to take y'all all over the world. Because this is a whole new vibe and energy. I'm sure those, the cemeteries out in the desert in Arizona look different. I'm sure them up and up north look great. Yeah, this does look like a neighborhood. And this is everybody's individual house. Y'all, we at 950. Let's get to 1,000. Let's get to a thousand. The family tomb. So they call these tombs. This is the family tomb of W.J. Castell. Born in 1879. Everybody has their own style. For everybody to have these, like I like I I. Like, could they really be that expensive? Maybe. Thanks, Lenora. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all to everyone that appreciates my content. I know I talk. I know I talk to the to the people that say the bad comments, and y'all feel like I, I give them attention. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. That's just because I'm sensitive, y'all. <laughs> That's just me being honest and transparent. As a creator and as a creative, I'm very, very sensitive about my work. <laughs> Anything that I create, I'm very, very, very sensitive about it. So when I get negative feedback, I take it very, very personal. And this is just me being very transparent with y'all because I love y'all. And talking to y'all helps me to vent so and think out stuff that i got going on so yeah so i apologize if 
y'all feel like I look past the great and good and, and, and acknowledge the bad. But I always acknowledge the good, y'all. I love y'all, man. Y'all make my, y'all save my life. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Y'all really did. Y'all really did. Y'all came in a time where I'm trying to figure out what's about to happen with TV. We ain't got no show. They, I fit gone. Everybody just, paranormal is just on hold. And I did not want to get lost. It's out of sight, out of mind. So when I say y'all saved my life, man, y'all rejuvenized, rejuvenated a whole new thing in me with this. Like, it make me not even, I don't know, man. T, like, TV's cool. The opportunity comes again, I'm sure, which I'm sure it will. It always does. <laughs> Probably next year. Yeah, for sure. We will do it. We, the Ghost Brothers already talked about it. We would love to. We already talking to other people. Like, there's options out there, guys. But this, I ain't gonna never stop this. Like, this changed my perspective, my way of thinking, how I feel about stuff. Man, it changed my life. It genuinely changed my life. <laughs> So thank y'all for being a part of this life-changing situation for me. But to all y'all with the negativity, I'm still on your ass. I'm still on your butt. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it. The Ghost Brothers, we talked about doing some stuff for YouTube. We probably will. Honestly, we probably will. I've just been trying to like getting my feet wet with everything on my, with myself on my own channel. <laughs> before we start dedicating the time for the ghost brothers like i'm looking at project fear and like all the stuff they going that they got going on like it, like they're the platform that they use to do the paywall is like down and people aren't getting the kind like i don't want all them issues you feel me i like what we're doing i get up when i want to i ain't gotta ask nobody i ain't gotta check nobody else's schedule <laughs> I ain't got to do none of that. I come out on my own time. This is a random Tuesday at 9.48 in the morning. And we got 900 some people shooting the, shooting the stuff with us. Dang, man, this was broke. Yeah, Shay, I'm with you. I like it too. Oh, here we go. Brian. This is the Brian. This is Mr. Brian right here. That's cool. Got your picture on the side so, so people don't forget. Let them know. I'm not mad at it. Y'all, this air feels so good out here. <laughs> like, this is... Bloody Mary might have to hold on for a minute, y'all. <laughs> I'm with my people. Steven, Mark is in Tennessee. So look, y'all, hey, if you're in Tennessee, Mark started his own tour guide company out there in Tennessee. So during this season, he's doing haunted ghost tours in Tennessee. So I'm gonna post a link to it. Y'all go check out Mark if y'all are in Nashville and do his haunted ghost tour. So Mark is working, man. Mark is working, man. Mark, yeah, yeah, Mark is working. He's out there working. So we trying to get the time to meet back up to do more work together. We just got to get the timing together. So, like I said, we were looking and planning Charleston right now. So that's where we're in the middle of. But we just got to find a three or four day stretch where we both can get together to go shoot like eight episodes. But that should be probably in the next, in the coming month or so. Coming month or so. But y'all check out Mark's Hunted Tours, man. I think it's super dope that he's doing that. We might come out there and do one, like, <laughs> do an event out there. We all come out there and do Mark's tour. Hey, man, who said that? Stephanie, you darn right. You employed for life, Stephanie. <laughs> keep working. Keep working your way up the shifting ladder, Stephanie. We got benefits. <laughs> we got it all. Stock options. We got it all. Yeah, T-shirt drop, y'all. I know I had it scheduled for the 18th. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. New Orleans got in the way. I'm pushing for the 18th. The samples of the shirts are done. I just gotta pick them up tomorrow when I land and I gotta see what they look like and see if I need to make some changes, let y'all see them. And if y'all cool with it, then we can run the shirts ASAP. 
But I like to order the shirts like a big bulk order before I put them on sale. So I can, you know what I'm saying? Get them out as soon as y'all start ordering. So if it's not on the 18th, it's going to be shortly thereafter. But yeah, that's the priority as soon as I get back this week. It's all about the next t-shirt drop. We're either doing the, uh, the shifting regional manager shirt or we're doing the future ghost shirt. That's what this drop is, y'all. It's either the regional manager. <laughs> so you let everybody know the position you hold within this graveyard shift family. <laughs> so it says regional. <laughs> y'all, it's childish. <laughs> so it says regional manager. <laughs> so if anybody ever stops you while you're out, excuse me, ma'am, are you a regional manager? You got, damn, you, you got darn right I'm a regional manager. And on the back, it has a big old graveyard shift logo on it. The other shirt is the future ghost shirt. Yeah, yeah. Send, hey, man, if you're a part of the shift family, you can't be. Look, look. We got to make. We got to make a pack. A pinky promise. That if we are a part of the graveyard shift family on the living side <laughs> when it is our time whenever that may be we must participate on the other side as well <laughs> so if you can communicate on the other side then let it be known you over there when it's your time because i know for sure when it's my time look y'all <laughs> i look let me tell y'all a little bit of truth about me I, when it's my time 100 years from now, I want people to be like, y'all, we got to come to Dalen's grave. Man, they say if you come here on a certain day, he going to come talk to you. <laughs> yeah, I want one of them legends attached to my grave, y'all. <laughs> people leaving shiny nickels. <laughs> That's what I want. But look at this. This is kind of cool. It's above ground, but it's kind of in the ground. You damn right my ghost gonna talk forever. <laughs> While you sleep, I'm gonna be whispering in your ear. Nah, we finna do a spirit box session, y'all. Uh, Let me see. Maybe over here. The website is the graveyard shift.tv www.thegraveyardshift.tv the shirts are not up right now so you can't purchase anything the link only goes live to purchase the day that the shirts come out but yeah the graveyard shift.tv but i will definitely keep y'all abreast because we got to be out here in uniform guys we got to be. When you come in Ohio, I'm always in Ohio. I'm always in Ohio. All right, y'all. So, all right, family. Let's see what we can do. Yes, I will be at Para Unity in New Jersey in November, y'all. Come out and see me and the rest of the Ghost Brothers. And don't forget about our straight ghosting weekend in Savannah, Georgia, Halloween weekend. We take over Savannah, Georgia, Halloween weekend every year. We have multiple live investigations that you can do with me, Juwan, and Marcus. We have a hunted pub crawl where you can drink and go look for ghosts. We have an uh, interactive tour, a haunted tour. It's very interactive where there's actors that, that are involved through the through a tour of uh savannah yeah it's a cool experience check out our website straightghosting.com y'all and uh yeah come spend halloween weekend with us in savannah georgia this is the 
Oh, wow, this is the Kennedy family, y'all. Y'all know Kennedy been coming through our box for a while the past couple days. Over the past couple shifts. My name is Daylin. I come in peace, love, and respect. If anyone is here that would like to speak to me, feel free to speak to me through this box. It will not hurt or harm you. It just allows me to hear you better. Love. Man, it feels so good out here. I could be out here all day. There's no mosquitoes. There's no bugs. Ants. A lot of ants, but no mosquitoes. My name is Dalen. Can you tell me your name? I'm Chuck. Chuck, are you here? Chuck, did you follow me from Bloody Mary's house? He's black. Why do y'all be so... Chuck, did you follow me from Bloody Mary's house? Slip up. No, Chuck. You got to go back where you came from, man. You said how? Don't worry. We headed back to Mary to Bloody Mary's today. You got to go back over there. Y'all, so Chuck, just to give y'all a little update. We were at Bloody Mary's haunted apartment where the man cut the lady head off. But she has a doll room with every type of doll you can imagine. Every type of doll. It looks crazy. And we were in there and I was like, can you tell me your name? And Chuck came through. And I was like, where are you, Chuck? And he said, turn around. And I turned around and it was this Chucky doll. Yeah. 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 No, it said Charles. That's what it was. Excuse me. I'm lying. <laughs> Rewind. The name Charles came through. And I said, Charles, where are you? And he said, turn around. I turn around and there was a Chuck E doll right there. And I said, that's funny because I had a friend in high school from literally from first grade to high school, he passed away. His name was Charles, his name was Charles. We used to call him Chuck and Chucky. <laughs> like all through life, we used to call him Chuck. That's Charles, we used to call him Chuck and Chucky. And I thought that that was interesting. And I was like, you said your name is Charles, we're gonna call you Chuck. And for Chuck to come through now, <laughs> it makes me think that he's father, he came along with us. Chuck, do you want to go back to Mary's house? <laughs> nope. Why you don't want to go back to Mary's house? <laughs> Would you rather be here in a resting community? One thousand, we did it. Oh, he said, yeah. Let me ask you this. Chuck, are you the spirit of a child? Yes. You hear the child's voice? You know. 
So are there nicer people here? There's a child. I think Chuck might have been a ch or Charles and Chuck might have been a child from Mary's house. She said it's a lot. There's Adrian. Right. Said he's missing. Chuck, are you still here? Okay. Well, we're going to go back to Mary's house. So if you want to go back home, you can. You want to stay? He said no. 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 Why don't you want to go back to Mary's house? He wanted. He wanted. Terror. Terror. Said he went upstairs. He, the dog is, is on the second floor of Mary's house upstairs. So you don't want to be in that room? No. Are there a lot of dark spirits in that apartment? Oh, wow. Mary Ellen, are you able to help Chuck? I can. I can. You know. Be nice. Well, Adrian and Mary Ellen, can you all work together to help Chuck? squared away one said I went up Genesis. 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 better light light Somebody said maybe Chuck felt ignored, like he was just a piece of a, just a piece of Bloody Mary's collection. Damn, my phone about to die. Well, Chuck, I hope you're able to cross over. You don't have to follow me back to Mary's, but you can. I mean, you you have to stay here. But I'm sure there's a lot of people here that can help you. Said most of us. Yeah. 
Yeah, y'all. But I got all that on tape. Y'all gonna see the video I dropped at Bloody Mary spot. She has a, her place is for sure hunting. So if you're into that type of thing, you can definitely go visit it. So if you like investigating and all of that, please, by all means, go support Bloody Mary in her locations. But they are intense. And clearly, the spirit of Charles and Chuck. I didn't think he was a child last night. Or, the, excuse me, the other night. I didn't think he was a child. I thought he was an adult. But now it makes sense. And he was very adamant about not wanting to go back. Which I do not blame him. Because he's inside of the apartment where the, where, the, where the man killed the lady. Yep. Y'all. Putting the tablet on airplane mode. I mean, that doesn't do anything. Because it's not pulling a signal from anywhere. You don't have to have Wi-Fi or internet connection to use it. Because it's running from a preset box. So putting it on airplane mode ain't gonna really do nothing. Uh, so look, that's the plan tonight. That's the plan tonight, the LaLaurie Mansion. So I met this lady yesterday. I was outside walking to the car and she was walking a dog and we just started talking. And I told her what I was out here for. And she was, told me the story about the LaLaurie Mansion and how Nicolas Cage bought it. So it's a crazy story attached to it. But she said you can't really get in there. It's owned by some private people. They're trying to like change the stigma of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some research on the Lori Mansion. And I'm going to put together like a two or three minute breakdown of it with pictures and all of that. And then tonight I'm going to leave out my hotel. I'm going to record my whole experience getting to trying to find the Lori mansion and then when i get there i'm going to record as much as i can outside do as much as i can without getting arrested and i'm sure i can't get on the inside but i'm going to try to maybe do a spirit box session maybe around the property if i can i'm gonna do as much as i can y'all but the story behind the Lori mansion per what the girl told me yesterday she said that back in the day the, I guess the, the people that own the, the mansion, they were wealthy and they were having a big to do and the kitchen caught on fire. And when they went into the kitchen to put out the fire, they found slaves like chained to like the stove, the refrigerator, the cooler. So they couldn't leave. So they they were chained to their workstation, but the kitchen caught on fire. So they were caught in this fire. And uh, I guess when the lady and the man that owned the mansion realized the jig was up, they hopped in a car and drove out of New Orleans. But before they did, they stopped like at the corner store where everybody be at. And they say she hopped out the car, curtsied at everybody and left. And they never saw her, her family again. Now, as they're putting out the fire at the house, because they say she left immediately, like immediately. They go in the attic searching the house and they find the remains and the bodies and some living people that this family had been doing like strange medical procedures on. They said that like, this is what the lady told me yesterday. So I don't know if none of this is accurate. I'm gonna do my research when I present the video. But she said like they would cut the arms off of slaves and put them on other slaves to see if they can function with the limbs and the head of other people like they was doing those type of freakishly insane experiments and there was a lot of death and torture and yeah they never found the couple but it was just a lot of torture in this house and they say nicholas cage bought it he owned it for a short period of time Angie, I'm no Angie. It's gonna be me tonight by myself. <laughs> Mark is not with me. Mark is in Tennessee at work. I'm out here by myself. So this is just gonna be me exploring, guys. But uh, yeah, I don't know how close I can get to it, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a a, a good scout's honor, a good hee haw. Oh, he lost it due to back taxes. Yep. 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 I think that that is what she said. Th yeah. That's wild. But they say everybody that owns it 
ends up losing it. No one who has owned it still owns it. It's always somebody new. Everybody thinks that they could do something different with it. All right, y'all. I got to get on up out of here. We got some shifting to do. We got some shifting to do, y'all. And I need to charge my phone. Love, 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 y'all. We got a lot more filming to do. But we've been out here a minute. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the time. Thank y'all for y'all's energy this morning. We got a lot more videos to do, y'all. I'm going to do a lot more lives, too. I'm gonna, my plan is to continue to drop graveyard shifts pretty much every day. I might miss a day here and there, but pretty much, I think I found a system that will allow me to drop a video every day. And I got some people helping me edit and transcribing. So I can drop a video every day, but I might start doing lives. If y'all don't mind doing these lives during the morning, I can start doing a couple lives a week. These are cool because there's no editing involved. Like, it's just me doing it. So, all right, y'all. Let me go meet up with Mary before she leave me. <laughs> y'all pray that she let me do a spirit box session in her murder bathroom. I mean, in her murder kitchen. And, yeah. The only thing about Mary, she don't really be telling me what we got to be doing. And that makes me nervous. <laughs> that makes me nervous. <laughs> That's how you end up in a seance unexpectedly. That's how you end up. Yeah, anything could pretty much happen, y'all. So I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Whoever just donated, I can't see the name. But thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm finna get up out of here. Let me charge this phone. Let me get back to shifting. Uh, depending on the light, maybe I'll try to go live later on this evening. I don't know. We'll see. Love, love, love. Catch y'all on the flip side.